Hello everyone, and welcome back to Financial Futures. Today, we have some exciting news to share for Social Security recipients. There's a big change happening that could mean bigger checks for millions of Americans. But before we dive in, if you appreciate the Social Security updates, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more. The Social Security Administration recently announced a final rule that will bring significant changes to the Supplemental Security Income, SSI, program, potentially qualifying more people and increasing payment amounts. The new rule aims to make it easier for beneficiaries to access benefits and increases the payments some some may receive. SSI provides monthly benefits to over 7 million Americans, including seniors aged 65 and up, adults, and children who are disabled, blind, and have limited income or resources. Increase in payment amounts. The current maximum federal monthly SSI payment is $943 for an eligible individual and $1,415 for an eligible individual with an eligible spouse. The changes, set to take effect on September 30, are seen as a positive move to improve access to benefits and address the needs of beneficiaries. Another important change is the expansion of the definition of a public assistance household. Now, households that receive Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP, payments, where not all members receive public assistance, will be included. This change could mean more people qualify for SSI, current beneficiaries may see higher payments, and individuals in public assistance households may have fewer reporting requirements. The SSA is also working on two other rules set to go into effect on September 30. One change will expand SSI rental subsidy policy, making it less likely that renting at a discounted rate will affect SSI eligibility or payment amount. These changes from the SSA represent significant improvements to the SSI program, aiming to provide better access to benefits and increase payment amounts for those who need it most. Are you on SSI? And that's all the news I have for you today. But before we go, here's my daughter Bella with her tip of the day. The CPI inflation report indicates that headline inflation is at 3.4%, an improvement from the previous 3.5%. However, it's essential to note that in January, we were at 3.1%. This suggests that while there's been a slight improvement, we may still be in a phase of re-accelerating inflation, and the Federal Reserve is unlikely to cut interest rates in June. Core inflation, which excludes food and energy prices, has improved from 3.8% to 3.6%. While this is a positive sign, it's still well above the Federal Reserve's 2% target. The slow progress in core inflation reduction indicates that it may take more than two years to reach the target at the current pace. Energy prices have accelerated, with a year-over-year -year increase of 2.6%, up from the previous 2.1%. Food prices are also up by 2.2% year-over-year, indicating a steady increase. However, the calculation methods used for food inflation raise questions about the accuracy of these figures. Shelter inflation has fallen from 5.7% to 5.5%, but it's still significantly above the 2% target. Services inflation, which has decreased from 5.4% to 5.3%, remains a concern for the Federal Reserve as it indicates wage inflation above their target. Despite reports of a strong labor market, recent data suggests a weakening situation. There was a significant slowdown in job additions in April, with the unemployment rate ticking up to 3.9%. This contrasts with the government reports, indicating a potential discrepancy in the true strength of the labor market. Following the release of the inflation report, 
there is a slightly increased optimism in the market regarding a potential interest rate cut by the Federal Reserve in July. The odds of a rate cut in July have risen to 29%, up from 26% before the report. However, it's essential to note that these odds are still not in favor of a rate cut, and the next significant meeting is in September, where there is a 70% chance of a rate cut. Please hit the like button and shares and remember to subscribe for more updates. Thank you for watching. Take care.